all right y'all so today i am going to be doing a half wig and i really wish i would have known about half wigs earlier in my life like this wig has been kind of a lifesaver for last minute little situations and you know just overall when you feel like you're having a lazy day i've been wearing this wig for like three weeks and this is a synthetic wig that cost me like 25 dollars at my local beauty supply and I will say that I'm not a person, it's, it's kind of puffy and not everybody likes that, but that's kind of my style. I like textured hair. I'm not really into um, like bone straight hair or like super perfect curls. So honestly, the older this wig gets, the more I like it. I will insert the picture of how it looked when I first put it on right here. So you can see that the curls were a little bit um, more defined and it was a little less fluffy. But honestly, like as this wig ages, I'm loving it more and more. This is the Tammy Outre um, synthetic half wig. It comes in a pack like this. And literally, it's, it's so simple. Like, I, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I really wish I would have known about this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the wig to this one because I got two. I got the boho curl and I also got this one, which is the Tammy. So since I wanted to show you guys kind of how I finesse my finesse this hairstyle, I'm just going to switch over so that I can see how this curl looks. Okay. So I've worn these two ways. Okay, first of all, don't judge me when I take this wig off because I'm going to look drastically different. Mind you, y'all know I'm bald headed, so don't even, or if you ever have watched any of my videos, you know I'm bald headed. So we're not going to act like we didn't know this already. All right, so here I am, you know, whatever, no big deal. But pretty much what I did was I braided the back of my hair down. I have, I've had these braids in, like I said, for a while now, so I'm not going to show you the braids, but I just did French braids in the back, and then I put my hair up into a ponytail. Now, I've worn this um, different ways. I wore it as a headband wig, and I wore it with this ponytail. So literally what you're going to do, is now it has these clips I guess this will probably be the back because it has a tag on it so let me turn it around but it has you know just a few clips in it these clips are different than the other wig but this one has one two three clips okay it also has a drawstring and my head is quite large so let me loosen this up oh it doesn't have a drawstring this one I don't know what they expect me to do here all right we're gonna see if we can make it work all right so Pretty much what you do is you just take one set of the clips and you want to kind of wrap them almost around your ponytail and then just drive them into your scalp. Like it's, you can't mess this up. Even if you can't do hair, you can do this. is just too perfect let me see if I can comb them out but you know this other wig was like that too so okay we get in there yeah because I definitely need some frizz and some volume like I do not like a perfect curl ever <clears throat> I know y'all probably like she is crazy like she's literally ruining the wig but I think because I've been natural for so long and I'm so used to puffy hair I just don't like the look of um like smooth smooth hair or perfect curls I like my hair to be textured for Rizzy.
So it's really giving uh it's giving Diana Ross for me right now, honey. It's giving it's giving body. And I was like, okay, I expect these um I expect this hair to lose some of the motion once it starts to get old. But this one is still hanging on. Now, how I maintained it, you know, it's not perfect, but it got a little bounce to it. And I ain't even combed it today. Um, how I maintained it, I did wash this one off and put some of my conditioner. Obviously, I use my Kelly Logan um, Oat Protein and Conditioning Honey Shampoo. And I use my Oat Protein and Conditioning Honey conditioner okay so that's how I've been maintaining the um, wig and I also use my styling mousse and setting mousse now my mousse is I created it for braids but honestly you can use this mousse in so many different ways you can use it for a wash and go if you have like very um, like finer hair or hair that's easily weighed down you can use it as a wash and go you can use it as your first step in your wash and go along with gel if you have coarser hair like mine um but also i found it useful with um i found it useful with this wig because you know if you need to do a quick little refresh you can and it smells really good too so you know you don't want to be miss thank wig but yeah this is a synthetic wig and as you see when you put the mousse on it it starts to you know get back to where it was so i just wanted to show y'all that so if i changed my mind and i wanted it to be a little bit more defined like if i was feeling a little bit more definition whatever the case may be i could do that although that's not very likely to happen because i definitely am a volume girl but yeah Utre wigs make sure you get some from your local beauty supply like i'm not even gonna hold y'all up these have been a lifesaver um in the past few weeks but until next time i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed um i do work very hard on these videos to push out this content and i try to stay up on the latest cheaper cheaper trends for natural hair and just overall um hair care things that are going on within the hair care industry and I also have my amazing line of products that is expanding and just getting bigger and better so if you want to be a part of my journey make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime I upload all right Mwah.